Welcome to Paul's Kitchen. Today we're looking at pasta. You should have a recipe with the equipment you need, the ingredients and the instructions and you should also have a worksheet to work through. Now before we start as ever we make sure our hands are nice and clean and that we are wearing an apron to protect not only our, ourselves but also our clothes so we make sure we're nice and neat. We also need to make sure that our workbenches are clean and if you have sanitizer, sanitized. If not, nice soapy water to make sure they're nice and clean. Pasta is made using strong flour, olive oil, eggs and salt. Today we're going to use convenience pasta, so I've got some dry pasta here we're going to use. I bought from the supermarket. We can have frozen pasta, we can have fresh pasta, but today we're going to use dry pasta. Now if we go through our actual equipment we need, we need some measuring scales, we're going to need some knives, we're going to need cheese board, a cheese grater, we're going to need some containers and we need some pans. Now I'm going to use a frying pan to cook my mince off. You could use a pan. And we'll also need a pan for cook our spaghetti off and a spoon. So to start with, you can see that I've actually got all my ingredients out ready. And we're going to now go through preparing the ingredients. So you can see here I've got my board nice and neat. Now it says on the recipe we need one small onion. So if your onion is a large onion, like me, I've cut that in half. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to peel the onion, get all the outside skin off it. And, but you're not going to take off the root at the back like we've done before. And you can see that I've got a nice mixing bowl, a nice bowl let put my rubbish in. On underneath my board. I've got a damp cloth there to stop it slipping, a bit of paper, and my board is nicely in that area. It's not on here where it's a danger. So we take our onion and we're going to just slice that through. And you can see that's not towards the root end. The root is here. That is the end we're going to cut. And you can see now we've broken that down into pieces. Get my large cook's knife. I'm going to very nicely get as fine as I can and slice that down and you can see that my knife is not actually leaving the board there it's staying on the board all the time and cut my onions rubbish in that bowl and then we're going to get my onions and put them into my bowl here the next thing you do is my carrots I've got a couple of carrots here they're quite small these carrots we're going to peel them down very quickly. Make sure you get all the rubbish off your bench again. Your bowl, make sure your bench is nice and clean. Top and tail. And then we put your knife through, through the side like that. And you put your hand there either side of your carrot so it doesn't slip. And again, either side. So we're into quarters and then as fine as you can along like that and all the time you see again my knife is not leaving the board and I'll do that the same the other one fingers like that across down like that into quarters and across and into my dish I've got some celery here as well. Cut into strips. Don't need lots of and then again, my knife is not leaving the board all the time. Rocking all the time. My hands here is in an arc like that, so I don't want it like that, otherwise you're gonna lose your fingers. Cutting across. So we've got all those cut. 
like that and ready to go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to peel our garlic. Let's get a little bowl put the garlic in. So we're going to peel our garlic back. You've got all the, the bits of the garlic, all the outside of the garlic. My bench is still clean. You can see nothing else on my board apart from a one knife and the garlic. And we're going to cut that through like that. I'm going to get that really quite fine. Again, see my knife is not leaving the board at all. It's all the time. So we don't want a, we don't want a big lump of garlic in there. So make sure you get all nicely cut up. So it's all the nice little bits like that. Take your garlic off. Got that there. So that's our our, our white our, our onions, our carrots, and our celery cut. Our garlic cut. The next thing we do is check our mince. So first of all, we need to make sure it's safe. So we make sure it's in date. I'll cut it around. And the other thing we can do is make sure that it smells all right, looks like a nice red color. Like that. And the other thing we need to do is we need some oregano. And also I've got some tin tomatoes there and our salt. So now I've got all the ingredients laid out, and the next thing, we're going to cook our dish. So when you come back, we're going to start cooking our dish.